Hello again and welcome back Power Up Enthusiasts to the Power Up Tutorial channel. We are continuing again with our series for the Power Up Challenge Walkthrough 2024. And this time around we're focusing on the Power Ultimate section. But before we begin, if you're new here, please hit that subscription button and add that notification bell. Also, don't forget to give the video a like if you learn anything new as you can see um, the requirements is to be able to send notifications to the foster family and advise them on the foster on the next steps so let's just go straight to the solution and start all right we're back in our solution and the first thing we're going to do is we go to new And we're going to automation cloud flow under we're going straight to automated cloud flow all right we're going to name the flow email the foster family when an animal is claimed for foster it's a little bit long but it works and then for the trigger once you type in dataverse pick the first one that pops up which is when a row is added modified or deleted and then click on create okay so our flow has been created first and the first thing we're going to do is modify this change the type to modified then let's look for our table we are looking for animal info table so we grab the table animal info table and then for scope just picked uh organization for scope but right, while that's done it's next step and for the next step um type enter get a row by id and what we want is the first one that actually pops up that says microsoft dataverse so get a row by id the one that says microsoft dataverse and then and then let's grab our animal table again. And this time around for, so for the role ID, once you click on it, you can search for unique ID or the unique ID for entity instance. That's what we're looking for. So once you grab that, click on that, and then this is the best time to save. All right, so like the instruction says, we are checking to see if the shelter status is, says claim for foster. So the next step is we're gonna add a condition. And what we are grabbing is the shelter status. Now, this is where we need the value of the choice column. So I'm just gonna open the choice column again. Okay, so we are in the animal shelter. This is animal shelter status column. And this is what I'm looking for. So we are looking for claim for foster's value is three, and that's what we are gonna use. So we'll go here and say, if the animal status is equal to three, Awesome. So if it's equal to three, and that means it's claim for foster, add an action. And the first action is going to be a compose. So just type compose and grab the first compose action. I mean to set a timer for when the foster family can pick it up. So I'm just going to rename this. So it's going to be pick up dates five days ahead, except for Sunday. And that's going to be our compose. And then we're going to put in a formula. So inside the formula, click on the formula, go to expressions and put in under expressions. All right, um, put in this code. I decided to put it in, in a text format. So you can actually see the code. So it's format date time, if equals format date time, add days, 
UTC now five, Sunday at day. So what this does is just like the description says, it picks five days ahead, but omits Sunday. So if Sunday is part of the days, it doesn't add it to the days. Hit that there. To use that, just carry that code. Make sure you put it under expressions and then hit OK. So that's for the compose. The next action we're going to do is we're going to add another condition. Now, this condition is to check if the animal has a photo. Uh, if the animal has a photo, we are going to use this condition. So just like before, pick and uh, click on the condition and then search for the photo. And what we're going to check is if the photo is not equal to, we're going to type, go to expressions and type null, N-U-L-L, -L, and then hit OK. So we're checking if the animal is not equal to null. If it's not equal to null, open another action for the yes side. And for this side, we are going to add another compose. So type compose. All right, and grab the first compose. And for this compose, I'm going to rename this. So I rename it get animal photo. And then for the input section, put in this code first. All right, so now that we have added a new action of sending an email, put in your email address so we can use it to test it. Awesome. So after putting your email, put the subject line as animal fostering notification. And then for the body section, let's put in, all right, so we're going to use this format to create our information table. So the first thing we're, we're trying to grab is the foster claimer name. So right before the comma, so hello, let's find dynamically the foster claimer. All right, so we are looking for the foster name, but all I see here is data foster, foster type and foster value. And these are lookup fields, so this is not what we're looking for. All right, so let's just pause on this for now and go back to our field. And for, instead let's go to, let's grab the animal photo because I want the animal photo to be sitting right here. So I'm just gonna grab the animal photo. So it sits right there. For the name, we'll grab the animal name it should be right up here. For the pickup dates, we are going to use the output value that we get from five days. 
And yep, that should be good. One more thing, I'm just going to add a bold here. All right, that looks good. Let's save this real quick. And then I'm, we're going to create another calculated column so that I can grab the foster claimer name. So go back to the table real quick. When an animal show animal table, create a new column. And this is going to be called foster claimer in name. All right, so we, we're going to name it foster claimer name, like I said, and it's going to be calculated foster claimer name for each foster ID lookup field. And data type is going to be formula. And then use this so animal foster claimer dot foster claimer name. Leave the format as text and hit save. All right, and once that's saved, remember I always try as much as possible to publish all customizations, especially when you make changes to columns, forms, and view. So I'm just going to pause while this goes on. All right, so the publication is done. I'm just going to switch back to my Power Automate and refresh the screen. All right, so it took me back to the solution. So just go back and open the Cloudflow. Click on Edit back to the condition let's go back to our email and this time around when we go down to grab our foster data here we go now we have our foster claimer name which is awesome so we can pick that now and every time we try to do, to do this it's going to be dynamically entered so now that looks good. I'm just going to save this. All right, it's saved. And the first thing we're going to do is click on these three dots here and click copy to my clipboard preview. Awesome. And then for the right side where it says no, click on add an action. Click on my clipboard and then add the email. And this time around, open the email down. And since this one has no image, we're just going to delete the image. All right, that looks good. I'm just going to hit save real quick. And then we do have one more thing we need to this order no here. So just add an action and add a compose. So let's Enter the compose, select the compose, and for here, enter, enter flow error in text. All right, so we should be good. So when a row is added, it gets the row by ID. In the first checks for the condition. If it's correct, it goes here. Adjust the days and sends, checks another condition for, for the photo. If the photo is there, it sends this email with an image of the photo. If it doesn't have a photo, it sends the email without the photo. And then on the right hand side, it's just a flow error to let us know something's wrong with the flow. All right, let's hit save it one last time. And now we can actually test this flow. All right, so it's done. I'm going to hit test, manual test, and then hit test to start. And then I'm going to open the Canvas app. OK, so we have our app open. Just make sure and you've published the most current version of your app. I usually name my first version V1, so just make sure you hit save and publish. And then let's hit play so we can test our app. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to 
pick a new animal. So I'm just gonna pick Mittens, the cat. So we have a new foster family that is about to claim Mittens, the cat. I'm just gonna enter the details real quick. <laughs> 